Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's do it. Hard mode runs. Not great performances lately. Uh, this is normal. There we go. Um, yeah, decent performances lately, let's be fair. Let's do an Isaac run for once for the first time in a while, and we'll try to go down the all the way to uh, the chest. Seems reasonable to me. I look forward to having a spacebar item like the D6. And the Curse of the Labyrinth means I actually save a key. Curse of the Labyrinth might be like the best thing that can happen to us curse-wise, for sure, on the first floor in hard mode. Very specific. Y, V, G, R, Y, 7, key. Got it. Y, 7, keys? Tell you what, game. The seed might be incredulous, but if you give me that opportunity, I'm not gonna ask questions. Yeah, I think it was the last run. It's been, a, you know, a sleep. And after a sleep, all those Isaac runs get, uh, you know, mashed together in one big, uh, you know, curry of, uh, of runs, which is normally the opposite way that causality goes, I guess. Um, thank you for the key, much appreciated. I'm gonna, you know, take some time to actually shoot all this poop here while I discuss what's going on. Um, I think we had that D4 run where I pretty much just threw away a victory, but honestly, I don't care because we, we had the D4 and it was fun and uh, ridiculous and we totally screwed it up, but hey, how often are we gonna get the D4? Probably not that often, so I appreciate it. Piggy bank. It's okay. There's a couple of benefits to piggy bank, uh, especially picking it up early means we're going to pick up a lot of money over the course of the game. I'm going to take our spirit heart right now, just on the off, you know, chance, the, the pipe dream here of us uh, being able to just not take red heart damage at all on the floor and guarantee us a deal with the devil. Um, the more likely scenario is definitely that we take damage, but maybe, you know, don't take damage against the boss. Which is still, both of those are beyond theoretical possibilities, the very real possibilities here. Ooh. Theories get a bad rap, man. Well, theoretically, theor sometimes theories are real good, man. Theory of gravity, that's a good one. It has very rarely let me down. The theory of gravity. Oh, it's just a theory. I got a theory. You don't know what the fuck the definition of a theory is. You think it's just a guess. No, that, that is a guess. You gotta stop arguing semantics, man. Take a few classes in the scientific method anyway. Um, the other good things about piggy bank are that... Excuse me? Are that we are not going to have to see Piggy Bank on, on the shop, which I think is very good. Dead Bird is very not good, though. Uh, it's it's better than How to Jump. I will give you that one. Fair play. However, it's it's not very good. Uh, with one bomb, I like our odds here. I don't see a Tinted Rock in here. Tomo, it's all right, buddy. I'll get you covered. He's like, are you talking about Tinted Rocks? I want to be there. Umbilical Cord was not worth the bomb that we used. So give me a moment. Come on, buddy. Come on in, dog. Come, come, come. Oh, my God. So that is, uh, for those of you at home playing the Northern Lion drinking game, I made a rephrase. For those of you over the legal drinking age at home, responsibly play, oh, that's bad. Responsibly playing the Northern Lion drinking game, uh, there's a, a drink, I guess, for cat interruption. I apologize. I don't know if it's okay for me to explicitly encourage you to, to play that game, because there is a health risk associated with it, you know? You gotta, you gotta take some degree of personal responsibility, I think, and recognize that that is probably a bad thing to do for your health. That being said, I'm not tacitly approving it here, I'm just saying if you've made that personal choice, make sure you're following the rules, motherfucker, you gotta respect the integrity of the game, right? Similarly, I uh, have to tell you that the game, if you're wondering what the Northern Lion Live, uh, or Northern Lion Rebirth drinking game is, you can find it on the subreddit. I believe mentioning the subreddit is another drink. Cheers, motherfucker. Let's move on down and around here. We did lose our spirit heart just due to some amateurish mistake on our dodging against those uh, those chasers. I don't really have a name for those guys. They got the same kind of pattern as the Isla Suze guy. If you, you want out of the room now? No, I'm sorry, my friends, my cats. But I can't do that. What are you do? Oh my god, why did you even come here? Oh, now I got my alarm going off, Jesus Christ, okay. Well again, now our, our best chance is just not taking damage against uh, the boss. Because I blew it. Uh, if only I could knock that bomb all the way up there. Now, we do have pretty good timing here for uh, guaranteeing ourselves a reroll either for the boss rooms or for the deal with the devil, so I'm not going to reroll how to jump yet. Instead, we'll focus our rerolls on um, being able to use them effectively against what I hope is a deal with the devil. Otherwise, how to jump is probably going to take precedent. By the way, thank you to everyone who let me know that um, I should stop looking down on the luck stat. The luck stat is actually something that's 
Oh, that could have hit me easily. That was a very aggressive dodge. Uh, the Lux Dead is something that makes a big difference in hard mode because it increases your chance of consumables dropping when you finish your room, thereby increasing your chances of getting a key, which gr drastically, especially with a cumulative effect, um, gives you uh, a much better chance of winning the run. So I, I should stop looking down at luck, luck upgrades. I should, I should start to feel happier when I get like an HP plus luck or like magic scab or something like that. Anyway, that's my, my thought on that. Uh, I like old bandage. It's an HP upgrade, it doesn't fill up the heart, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's meaningless. Here it's it's not good, because we could actually potentially die against gurglings. I don't think it'll happen, but you know, the chances there. Tomo buddy, you gotta you gotta get over this dog. Cat, you know what I mean. Of course Oh my god, it's like someone scratching at the door trying to get at me. Ba ba duke. No, okay. I am uh I'll let you out, man. I just let you in. I didn't pick him up and force him to come in here. I didn't You take away your sovereign right to be a cat and go wherever you please. You don't give me that ad hominem fallacy, Tomo. My baldness has nothing to do with your indecisiveness, okay? I'll free you. I don't know. We, you might have to poop. You can't poop in here. I can't be mad. Hey, Dad, pull the car over. I gotta poop. Why didn't you poop before we left the house? I didn't have to go. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's, that's what you get for stopping at Del Taco for a pit stop. Now, this has been a very methodical gurgling play here. We did it. We didn't get a deal with the devil. That's fine. Where, where are you at now? Tomo, you want to get out of here? I don't, I don't know what you want. I'm so sad, apparently. Uh, we may get another... I just shouldn't have come in here, but it ended up working out just fine. We may get another reroll chance, but I doubt it. Like, very much. Pretty Fly is great. And... How to Jump gets rerolled into Polyphemus! This is a huge item for us. And it, uh, not just because it makes our tears, like, physically huge. That's a big part of it, though. Also plays nice with a lot of other synergies. We're gonna, like, five-shot, uh, six-shot Gluttony here. Can't actually get to those red hearts, but it's not that big of a deal, I'd say. I would love the ability to maybe get a few more red hearts. Or the ability to access that Tinted Rock, because I would very much like to go to this Cursed Room. Which I doubt is going to be possible. But, we'll see. Polyphemus in and of itself is such a huge get for us. I'm wary about going to that Cursed Room, but you know, the upside is... The upside is there, too. I'm going to give it a try. Okay. Ooh, on first floors. This is good, but does this count as a first floor? It doesn't matter. We have to take the D6 with us. Okay, that's fine. That worked out fairly well. Uh, actually, I'm very, very pleased with that. And uh, thanks to Piggy Bank, we picked up a little bit of extra money as well. No bombs. That's okay. We've got spirit hearts that protect our deal with the devil interests on the next floor. This has turned out pretty well. Polyphemus, tears, shot speed, HP upgrades on the first floor, along with um, Piggy Bank. All right, cat. I'm gonna I'm gonna free you from your own prison here. Get ready. Come on. <sighs> I think he just he's got some curiosity. You know, he wants to know um, what's going on inside of the room, and then he's like, "Oh, this asshole is just playing a video game again." He's like, "Okay, I don't need to. I want to be out with my cat brother out there." All right. That's fine, I can understand that. You know, curiosity, it's a trademark feature of cats. I don't remember the rest of the, the cautionary tale. Polyphemus definitely tearing up these poops pretty easily. Such a good base for so many different synergies and great by itself. It's like cheese, you know? Polyphemus is the cheese of the Binding of Isaac. Not just because it's cheesy, although that does help, but um, you know, get down with a nice cheese in a standalone capacity. Additionally, a cheese uh, as a part of a pizza, as part of a certain different kinds of soups sandwiches it's it's a great ingredient and a great uh, a food in a standalone context as well so cheers to you polyphemus or cheese to you I was trying to think of a better joke but it doesn't exist believe me I tried so the most important thing on this floor by far deal with the devil and uh, keep Whoa, uh, keep your D6 ready to be able to be used on the deal with the devil. The best way to ensure that that would happen, obviously, apart from just not taking any damage, is if we just got an item room slash shop, or both, and or, I guess, um, 
that gave us an item we didn't want to reroll. Now, we don't have too much control over that, but we can check it out. Monstro's Tooth is bad. But I think I'm not going to reroll it yet, just in case. Many people may disagree with this decision of mine. And they're not wrong to do so necessarily. We may end up missing out on an item room as a result of this decision. But if it gives us something amazing from our deal with the devil reroll, that's the only thing that matters. Or the most important thing that matters. And I really, the reason I didn't reroll it is because I didn't think we would get a, another reroll on this floor. And I'm thinking that's probably how this is going to go. Chubb. Chubb's not so bad. We're not particularly fast. Just want to take out some of the silkworms first. They do die in two hits. It's not bad. There we go. And actually, I forgot, but Polyphemus, I, maybe I didn't forget, maybe I just never thought of it. Polyphemus, because it does have some kind of piercing tierness going on, penetrative, at least up to a certain degree, it's actually really good against Chubb because the shots do more damage than they would against an enemy that only had a single target on it. Lucky me. A very easy fight, should get a guaranteed deal with the devil. There it is. Coin purse is no good. So, this is a weird one, because Book of Belial is so good. But I think what we're going to do... That's nice. I think we're going to pick up Guppy's head. Keep our deal with the precedent, or deal with the devil precedent here. Keep our D6, but re-roll it. We get Judas the Shadow and Satanic Bible. Um, Judas the Shadow is... It, it would be stupid not to pick it up. But it, neither of those items are immediately effective for us, unfortunately. Do we know any of these pills? We did take one pill on the last floor. I think we don't know any of them. All right. Here we go. Health up. That's good. 48 hour energy is great. That's not really good enough. Oh, we don't get another crack at it. Range down kind of sucks. I found pills, not so bad. So now we can actually uh, go back and reroll Monstro's Tooth. That 48 hour energy pill, pretty uh, staggering for us. In hindsight, I do kind of wish I took the one heart headless baby, but it's the kind of thing that doesn't make a big difference. Because we're early enough in the game, uh, I think there's options is an item that has a conceivably reasonable amount of payout for us, so I would like to take advantage of that. Chemical peel is pretty okay. It's a damage upgrade. Uh, and we have a couple more rooms to go to. We will um, we'll do what it takes to get to 15 cents. Going into the curse room should give me, you know, one cent on either side. Maybe more. It would be helpful if I could just, uh, I was going to say get like one penny on this room, but that's okay. No bombs again. I'm not going to open that golden chest back there because I would rather keep our money alive, you know? So yeah, that's two extra cents. Hmm. <laughs> the problem with that golden chest is that, uh, whatever we get from it, we're probably not going to be able to get back without getting hit a second time. Of course, I shot the f farkin' fires in here. Um... Are there any fires left on this? I could walk myself across the spikes, but... Man, is that really worth it for those options? It probably is. Yeah, well... Look. Am I an enormous fan of what I just did? No. But, there's options plus reroll. Basically makes me immune to getting bad items from, uh... From bosses. We have a lot of bosses left to come. I don't think this is a truly terrible decision. Any better chance to get something like Magic Mushroom, Pentagram, etc, etc. Those are those are big coups for us on this run. So I'm I'm fine with it. Black Candle's also fine. Nothing wrong with that. And hopefully we can keep our deal with the devil interest alive here. It's a shame that for all those rerolls, we still didn't really get anything um, super useful from those deals with the devil. It's okay though. Now that I'm seeing our HP, I'm not so uh, concerned about the fact that I didn't pick up Headless Baby. It's an okay item, don't get me wrong. But it's not necessarily the item that uh, that I need to carry me, you know? I'd much rather have a two-heart brimstone or something like that. So because of the lesson we learned on the last floor where we were just a little bit shy monetarily, we're going to be shooting all the poops, all the fires, and uh, we've already done Boss Rush's Isaac, so if I wasn't you know, guilt-free about that stuff to begin with, I would definitely be guilt-free about it now. Oh my god. Don't even bang on this door anymore. It's left open so that you can come in here. 
I can hear the cats making noise outside. It's it's open! What more do you want from me? You freaking cat bullies? Now, D6 is about to be charged. It would be a good, convenient time for us to find an item room. There it is. And of course we're gonna, you know, be on the lookout for our uh, cash so we can go to the shop as well. I like BBF enough not to reroll it. You know, I haven't spent as much time with the D6 in, in Rebirth as I have in uh, Vanilla, so I don't have like these automatic reactions anymore. Like, oh, that's a reroll. Oh, that's not a reroll. But uh, I, I give it a little bit of conscious thought whenever it shows up. BBF is an exceptionally dangerous item. A little bit less easy to control than Bob's brain, because it kind of it, it can spawn like right next to you sometimes, which is no good. That is really bad damage there on my part. Um, but I think it's, if you pay attention to it and you're reasonably careful, you can protect yourself from the vast majority of the damage that, that could hit you from it. So, I, I like it well enough. You know, Polyphemus in and of itself is not quite enough to win this run. So every extra little push I get is a nudge in the right direction. That's like the first bomb we've gotten since the first floor, I think. It might actually be the first bomb we've gotten over the course of this entire run, which is absurd. If we can get a second one, I would love to be able to um, go to that uh, boss trap room, if that is indeed where the secret room is adjacent to. As soon as you become guppy, those boss rush rooms become a lot more attractive. Because they have an opportunity, or a, a tendency to have like three red chests on them, three red chests... You know, you probably, out of three red chests, have like a one in three chance total of becoming guppy. Which, or, uh, of getting a guppy item. Which is solid, man. That's not bad. Well, I don't mind getting hit when we've already kind of broken our precedent for that. It's basically just extra damage. But we may not end up shooting our only uh, key wad here just to get to the, the shop with half price capabilities. Alright, let's do it. We got a reroll ready. I would love to get a deal with the devil. The other, like, the alternative way that you could have handled this run, by the way, or the last floor, if you had gone, gotten rid of your D6, and gone Book of Belial instead, I think that's a, a justifiable kind of way to play that. Oh, I could have easily taken damage at the end. There you go. Um, Jesus Juice is fine, but there's nothing I want more in this world than Magic Mushroom right now. And we're done with this floor. Um... What we may want to do, because there's extra red hearts, is just hurt ourselves a little bit for free to get extra money, right? Like, it's not a... It's, your mom's not going to tell you about this, because she wants you to be to be healthy, but uh, I have no problem telling you about it. There's a black card here we can't get. Please tell me I don't need to use, like, a bomb to get this one. Alright, yeah, there you go. Picked up an extra two cents as a result. Could have gotten one cent for free, but hey, we got two cents for one red heart instead. Not normally a great trade, but... There's nothing uh, keeping us here. Yeah, okay. Uh, not that way, this way. Magic Mush, great item. Didn't get the deal with the devil, but... It's okay, Polyphemus and BBF is a... a decent uh, situation to find ourselves in damage-wise here. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil on this floor. If we could become Guppy with Polyphemus, the flies do so much damage. Of course, we're gonna need to... Not take uh, red heart damage. We have proptosis or something there? The shot... Oh, it only got small because I hit something, but it didn't count as damage. Gotcha. Gotcha. Annoying room because uh, that zombie created some creeps so we couldn't actually stand directly behind him. Gotta be a little bit more creative than that. Now this room is like your worst nightmare with BBF. Nice. Because... You know, those, those enemies move very quickly. I think that was pretty obvious. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Um, I probably won't open that golden chest yet. But my intention is to do so at some point. Maybe if we get another key on this level. It's going to be hard to avoid it. Ish. These spirit hearts were very good. Picked up a little bit of money in the process as well. Nice. I mean, it is very helpful to be one-shotting basically everything. Okay, that's fine. Well, remember that there's a golden chest there, and it's a free golden chest. I mean, it's not free. It costs us a key, but um, we don't have to fight any enemies to, to go through with it, which is pretty solid. But we're going to need, like, a, a bit of a surplus of keys to make that happen. Okay, this is going pretty well. Two bombs now as well. 
Might as well uh, try to find our secret room here. Just to see if it was adjacent to the shop as well. Now, this room can be a little annoying, but with Polyphemus, I'm assuming that we can take care of at least a, a few of those, yeah, those dudes, before they got up in our grill. 15 cents, fast approaching. And we get the, the trademark uh, shop question, or sorry, trademark hard mode question. Do we go to our item room first or our shop first? A key for a battery and a key is a, a perfect trade. Objectively great. Um, but we can't, or there's no point in making that decision until we need to make that decision, you know, until we benefit from having that extra battery. And unfortunately, we've reached yet another dead end. It's been a great, <laughs> it's been a great floor, but I kind of wish that maybe we'd come across something that we could use to our advantage. This is something we could use to our advantage, but I'm going to hold off just for now in the hopes of being able to uh, play it later a little bit more guilt-free. But again, every time we play them, we're going to get some cash, so that's going to make it a lot easier to conceive of a world where our shop is beneficial. I think we do have different damage on our shots, by the way. Like, I think our... Um... Now, the hand can really fuck with BBF here. Uh, I think we have... Um... More damage from our chemical peel shot, believe it or not. Don't know what gave me that red heart there. It wasn't piggy bank, was it? Was it just the consumable for killing the enemy? Maybe it was a champion or something. And I didn't notice until the last second. Alright, we got a room. The Ankh. We already have Judas's Shadow, but I I doubt we're going to get another reroll unless we want to. Now we need another key to even take advantage of that key plus uh, battery situation back there. I guess what I should have done is re-roll the Ankh, then gone back for a key. Nah, never mind. This is the right decision now. Because I don't want to re-roll the Ankh because it could get us killed. Where's our shop? Did I miss a direction right from the start? I may have. Gish! Um, I don't know if there's options. Gives us a chance to not take a Gish item. Don't you give me those meows, dog? You got food, you got water, we give you so much love all the time. The door is open. Come on, come on, the door is open. Come on, come on, the door is open. Like, what do you do? You wanna... You shouldn't have taken the Ankh, you could have re-rolled it. Judas' shadow already doubles your damage. Come on, Tomo. Don't be mad. So we could choose to re-roll those. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely take Guppy's Paw. Not use it, but take it. And then re-roll these both. Ceremonial robes for free is a stupid good trade. Extra damage plus three black hearts. I think we'll end up taking Little Gish. And, uh... I doubt they're gonna open the blood bank, or uh, the, the, the deal with the devil back up to us. But we'll see. Where's our, uh... Where's our demon judgment? Here he is. We are getting red hearts. Oh, you know what that is that's giving us those red hearts? I, I should have known this way earlier. It's old bandage. Hard to remember sometimes all the all the stuff you got going on on your run. Picked up a good amount of money and poison touch, and we only lost one full red heart in the process there, which is a pretty good deal. And I think this is our starting room. We went to the left. Where's our shop? It must have been in an area where I was like, I don't want to go to it. We can open that golden chest if we want to. We should go to our cursed room now that we're guppy, or one item away from becoming guppy. Doesn't always work, but hey, we got a spirit heart out of it anyway. Where the heck was our shop? Yeah, I remember this situation very well. Well, we might as well, just in case we do get another chance to go back and reroll whatever's on our deal with the devil. That was closer than I'd like to admit. Maybe I'm just like completely blind. Did we go to the right here? We didn't! Oh, there was a whole different area of the level we didn't even look at. Okay. That would definitely explain it. Well, the slows from Gish are nice. I was hoping that there's options might give us a... a crack at, um... maybe another all stats upgrade or like pentagram or something like that. That would have been hard to pass up. Okay, okay. Battery is good. Let's re-roll portable slot. Becomes blue map. Blue map's pretty good. Then in addition to that, you might be saying buy the key. I'm gonna choose to buy the battery though, 
just in case on our way back uh, we actually do get a chance at going to the deal with the devil again because if we do I could reroll that deal with the devil item which I believe is the nail right now into something a little bit more uh, immediately useful for me I just had a oh we haven't been to this room either just had like a flash of uh, panic and was like wait a minute this is hard mode right it is we're, we're doing fine this will, the battery is good because it allows us to get that overcharge. So in situations where we have a full charge, we don't need to stress out about you know using our um, using our battery as soon as possible. We can store a couple of charges and unleash them at the same time. We didn't get a chance to go back. As a result, probably should have purchased the key. Whatever though, that's okay. You know, it's all a series of calculated risks and uh, you know crunching some probabilities and stuff like that. And then of course your gut as well. Try opening up our secret room and getting the skull at the same time. The key beggar. Which, honestly, I, I'm i not going to blow him up yet. But if the item room or the shop is on that side of him, we will consider it for sure. Because we could get a pill, maybe, or uh, in a really rare chance, a mushroom item. Uh, from that explosion. And also whatever the key beggar is going to give us, which is oftentimes just keys. Now stay away from BBF here, yeah. Alright, a second key. This room is meaningless. I'm going to go to our curse room because we've got a, a charge stored up. Ended up not giving us what we wanted, but I still think we've got a very good chance of making this guppy dream a reality. So now we'll save our bomb. Maybe use it for the second secret room way up there. Uh, I think our item room is probably down here. No, it's a boss rush room. I could have very easily taken damage there. Perfect. Oh, that was really bad. Was that BBF or just a random... Well, not random, but an explosion from him. I think it might have been an explosion from him. Now, that was really terrible. We may end up needing that money uh, from the golden poop, but it's kind of cost prohibitive right now. And by kind of, I mean extraordinarily cost prohibitive right now. Should be another dead end close by here, and this is it. Uh, I said that because our second secret room is all the way up there, so it seems like that area is going to be a little bit more... Um, Robust, a little bit more bustling, if you will. And I want dead ends because those have a tendency to give us the item room or the shop. Mom's contact is an absolute no-brainer pickup. That combined with Gish, combined with Polyphemus, Magic Mushroom, it makes our tears quite potent. We may end up not wanting to go to our shop because we don't have very much money, and instead playing uh, the Judgment. So that's I'm just taking a little bit of time to decide whether or not that's the the outcome that I will pursue. Unfortunately, we have no uh, no targets to really reroll right now. It's not the end of the world, though. Second secret room full of red hearts. This would be a great floor to have an arcade on, but we came down with less than five cents, which I think means that that's extremely unlikely. I say we just take our money down to the next floor, honestly, and uh, get ready to fight Mom. And on the next floor, you know, we'll, we'll come across judgments and, and whatnot over the course of the, the rest of our lifespan. Forgot we had Poison Touch as well. We got, we got some okay stuff going on here. Not like a... This is not a game-winning run necessarily yet. But we're in a pretty good spot. And it could fairly easily be a game-winning run without much additional input. No deal with the devil. We wanted to go up. Which is the Polaroid. Okay. Let's go then. Now this floor, I would say, assuming we don't take red heart damage, a deal with the devil should be pretty much guaranteed. Which is lovely. It's one of the few times I'll open by going to a big room because, uh, you know, the, the secret room is right next to it. Uh, if we get a deal with the devil, or by any other means, we become guppy and we don't spend a ton of health doing it. Although I wouldn't, because of our uh, spirit heart situation, I wouldn't mind taking nine lives. It wouldn't be my preferable way to become guppy. Guppy's tail would be a better choice. What is your problem, buddy? He doesn't respond to that voice. Talk to me like I'm a... Don't talk to me like I'm a baby, dad. I'm over one year old. That's like seven in cat years. It's still quite young. I don't know. I don't get cat years, man. What does that mean? Is that to make... Like, you're gonna think, like, uh... Oh, I wonder how my cat feels. Well, he's seven. That's like 49 in cat years. Oh, he must be a little achy and, you know, painy. You want to relate to your cat? That's admirable, you know? 
That's that's a good thing. But at the same time, you know, you're, you're gonna have a pretty decent barrier to understanding what your cat feels like based on the fact that you've never been a cat before. So I think that's, it's not like, oh, I wonder how my cat feels. Oh, he's the same age as me? We probably feel similar. It's more like, it's a different fucking species, dog. I don't tend to, or I don't claim to know what other species would feel like. Now, with only one bomb, uh, that's not gonna be our secret room. What about this over here? I know that I'm going to go to the curse room. The question is how I'm going to get there, and unfortunately, we are gonna have to sacrifice two spirit arts to do so. Well, I would say at this point, no matter what this is, and this is a very rare thing for me, if it's Krampus's head, which it is, we reroll it guilt-free, but I would have rerolled it even if it was um, Lump of Coal. Rotten Baby I picked up. I know I could have rerolled it again. Um, I would have rerolled it again if uh, if I had recalled that at the time. That being said, uh, I think this is... I will use our bomb here. I think this is a pretty okay pickup still. It's kind of like a mid middling compromise between uh, Guppy and not Guppy. We'll generate flies fairly regularly, and these flies are going to hit like a truck because of the fact that we, uh, we have Polyphemus. And by picking it up, we saved the charge, so if we actually do get, um, if we fight the Fallen or something like that, we'll have the opportunity to get four possible items from, well, four, uh, four choices at least. Which would probably be fairly easy to choose, but we're only gonna have two. And it's death, and we're not gonna have any choices then. We're just gonna pick up whatever death, uh, gives us, which will be bandage or cube of meat. I think we can re- we're gonna try to reroll it at least, because I don't really care about getting an orbital. And we'll see if it works. Oh, and there's the lipstick. Okay, just to make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, we'll take the pentagram. That was a good reroll. There's options is now done, but I think it's it's done a great job for us. I really appreciate that item. It's done and it's done well. Utero two. All right. Well, we should be one shotting. Pretty much everything. Still not out of the woods on this run. HP is a little low. No means to replenish it. Thought maybe we'd be able to get a black market or something there. I guess. Can't access that. Don't have PhD, so I'm not walking over any spikes to pick up pills. Very glad that we've gotten all these damage and tear effects. Doesn't tear effects sound like a, a pharmaceutical product you can take to make it so you're less likely to cry, you big baby? Okay, rerolls are ready. Big rooms, lots of spiders. Don't mind these rooms right now. Because, I mean, the enemies are quick and annoying, but they also have low HP and we have piercing shots. As well as some flies being generated. I, don't, I still don't think Rotten Baby is as good as a lot of people do, but uh, I'm not as down on it as I used to be. I used to think it was a trash tier baby. Maybe like slightly better than Ghost Baby, but that's just insulting. Ghost Baby is like, you know... The Buffalo Sabres, it shouldn't even be included in a conversation about that kind of stuff. No offense, Buffalo Sabres fans. Now. Okay, okay, this is good. Health up. We know some of these. 48 hour energy is crazy good. That's fine. We'll take 48 hour energy out with us. We can use this. I uh, should have taken that HP. We can use this. Um, if there's no other better time, we can still use this on the chest. Which is very meaningful. That could give us a ton of rerolls on the chest. Please, you know, you have the ability to freeze mom's uh, heart there. You should have frozen it. That's alright. We're up to the next floor now. Didn't find a curse room there. That's alright. I'm not going to go out of my way to look for them. That's good. Stay as still as you feel able to. Remember which bomb's yours and which one is not. Good. Easy mode. Now, we do need some more keys. Not sure where those are going to come, but uh, I'll be ready when they do. Fortunately, I can't really justify uh, opening any golden chests. We haven't had Guppy's Tail, but we've had a lot of golden chests show up. I can't help but feel that maybe I actually did sandbag a little bit on this run. Like, I, uh... Made it seem a little harder than it was, but it wasn't intentional. 
I, I just didn't have like one of those traditional items that is like, um, you know, but let's put it this way. I didn't, I didn't think that I was doing enough damage to feel like not having relic, miter, satanic Bible, nail, etc., etc., um, was a non-issue. It might not be a non-issue. We might still get uh, in trouble here. I guess, ah, we have Polaroid, so half heart interval is actually where we should be. It, it might not be a non-issue. You know, the chest has some very hard rooms on it, but we're doing very well for right now. And uh, this is what I want: is some. Dope freezing coming up here. Or slows. I'll take either or. And the flies. And then on the chest, we have so many uh, baked in rerolls. And you don't always get those. Like, usually you get one reroll and then you have to go fight some rooms. For us, we don't have to do that. So, Kate has actually told me that if you stand and next to the door, you gotta be perfectly next to the door. You actually uh, don't take damage from these beams of light. I think both methods work. I'm a little afraid of, of her method because you got to be pretty much pixel perfect with where you're standing. But that's how you fight conquest, is you stand in the door. So I, I believe it works. Okay. Uh, Peeper's Eye. Skinny Odd Mushroom. We don't have any more keys. I don't want it. I don't want Skinny Odd Mushroom for the tiers upgrade. I think I'd rather reroll it. So we'll try one. X-ray goggles, book of sin. Give me a key, please. That's good. I'll take it anyway. Then we'll reroll it again. We got broken mirror and uh, rainbow baby. So we'll do this again. Reroll them both. Mr. Mega and Bean. That's the lust. Okay, we'll definitely take bloody lust, and we'll see what our tarot card is. Wheel of fortune. So we'll throw that down here. Play it until we can't play it anymore. Um, we will uh, pick up the battery with our D6, though. There we go. I wanted to make sure I didn't pick that up with the tarot cards. That would mess it up a little bit. Broken remote's not something we want. I think we're making the best of, of a not-so-great situation here. Rage is pretty solid. Ringworm is not. It's okay. You pay out with some keys. That'd be lovely. Even if bombs are key pill. Uh, that's increased chance of black hearts, I think. And we got fire bombs, evil up. I think I'm gonna reroll. Um, I'm gonna reroll both of these, even though fire bombs can be okay. We got sad onion, book of secrets. Book of secrets doesn't that like work like a compass effect for us temporarily? No, just the secret rooms, huh? And I'm gonna take sad onion. Unlike skinny odd mushroom, I don't believe that sad. O that was terrible. I don't believe that sad onion actually um, carries a damage down modifier. So this is fine. We have more rerolls that we can use, and in addition to that, we have more chests to reroll if we can open them. So any keys that we get are great. Perfect. We still got a, a pretty bountiful kind of chest back here. Now we got Mom's Pad. Mom's Pad is not an item I'm very excited about at all. By the way, I oh that was terrible again. I could be very wrong about the sad onion thing. If that's the case, I apologize. I don't mean to spread information, I just, I'm just I'm telling you what I know to the best of my abilities. Two of Hearts is a great card for us right now. What a BBF like sunk halfway into that gate's body before giving up. That's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with the way this run is going. Two of Hearts is going to help out a lot. I think it's one of those runs where we're going to have a harder time on the rooms preceding Blue Baby than on Blue Baby itself. Oh man, remember when we fought Gurglings earlier and they were so annoying? Now we're two-shotting them. That feels way better. Should fight them like this more often. Rerolls are coming up. That's going to be useful. Oh, that's good. One of the flies, I think, hit, killed it in one hit. Oh, that was... I mean, that was really bad. I walked on the creep. Ah, and another key. This is big. Before we open it, why don't we just go to one more room? It's a room with uh, enemies with a lot of HP, unfortunately. BFF was on a collision course, though. That one Mega Fatty, I was gonna say, he's got no chance. And these passive flies from Rotten Baby are really helping out, man. Okay, so now we have a reroll end one key, which actually will give us three new items when we walk back here. And I think this is this is a, a admirable way of handling this. Uh, Isaac's Jar of Tears is terrible. It always tricks me, you know? I pick it up, I use it. And I'm like, oh, that's really good. But then it ends up actually doing no damage in practice. 
I think the Parasite is an acceptable take. Brother Bobby and Bomb Bag if we have to. Uh, but if we don't, I would rather reroll them again. I would rather kill Death first, but it's a little bit harder to guarantee it. Parasite, look at that. Parasite is actually helping us out a lot. Parasite is one of those items that's not very helpful until it is, and then it's extremely helpful. And it's based on your, your damage output, basically. If your damage is incredible to the point where, like, a Parasite, uh, you know, refracted shot can actually kill an enemy in one hit, then you're sitting pretty. Oh, this is great. We can get a tarot card or a Bob item here. I'd rather get a tarot card, but, uh, you know. Hey, Bob's Curse. Free poison bombs, plus five bombs when we had zero. That'll give us a chance to access our, um... Whoa, that was bad. A chance to access our uh, secret rooms, which otherwise were going to be inaccessible to us. Now, our shots also have the ability to freeze, like, um... Oh, that was not good. <laughs> like, uh, Mom's Contact. Like, like our primary tier, basically, so that's good. Come down here so we can just get our secret rooms. I was going to say, if somebody die, then this becomes much easier. I wonder if uh, we should have taken Me Mr. Mega, what would that have cost us? That would have cost us Bloody Lust, which I actually think is kind of a big deal right now. But if we had taken Mr. Mega, BBF would be better, I think. Oh well. Yeah, I, th I think Rage was the right choice, because now we are like two-shotting enemies, but... I can understand uh, multiple lines of reasoning there. Because we have the battery, it's not 100% necessary that we, you know, backtrack right away as soon as we get the D6 charge, but it is sensible to do so. Revenge Fly is very, very good. Telepathy for Dummies is very, very not. But this should be, uh, this should be a very winnable run. Not a one run yet. You know, I knew you are all waiting for me to say it. I don't even think that's on the drinking game chart, but I know uh, I'll give the people what they want. Should kill Gluttony last, I suppose, but we didn't really have control over that because the Parasite and the Flies pretty much took care of it from the get-go. Revenge Fly is, you know, as soon as we take damage, Blue Baby's in trouble. Especially if we can actually freeze it. Let's see how we do against the Haunt here. Well, that's a good start. That's a better start. <laughs> or a better finish, I guess I should say. Acceptable. Very good. Alright, don't make me go to the big rooms to get to the boss. I think Gluttony's gonna die last. Ah, unless... We, yeah, we got lucky there. Very, very lucky. Two of diamonds. Well, not the payout that we'd be looking for. We get one last reroll before fighting the boss. That's alright, you know? I feel okay about that. And hopefully we reroll it into either a good item or a half-decent active item. Because we're not going to be taking the D6 into this boss fight if we can avoid it. I mean, even telepathy for dummies we could take in, but it's not good enough to justify it. Except in some alternate universe that I can't even imagine right now. And I think this is a... It's not unlosable, but it's close. Oh, snap. Here she comes. Miss Universe. The largest tears in the multiverse. Anyway. I'm pretty excited about this. Our shot speed is like god awful. Um, but that is a pretty awesome final chest item. And I just feel really good about this run in general. We didn't get carried necessarily. I mean, we did get an early Polythemus, but uh, I don't feel like we got carried. I feel like we, we put up our all here and we, we didn't blow it, basically. This is a run where we could have blowed it, blown it, but we didn't. We played very well and, you know, the game rewarded us thusly. Very solid run after the last run, which I kind of threw. But hey, there is um, Isaac almost all the way filled out there. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.